All right, folks, welcome back to part two of the Load View Advanced Tutorial Guide. Uh, in this part, we're going to be going through the entire reporting and analyzing our reports. Uh, one thing I did want to show you real quick here uh, was that uh, the test itself is, is actually running right now. And uh, one thing that's really great that we can do is actually watch this test fire off in real time. Uh, so we can see here that uh, that the number of users that we have here is is rapidly growing and we are getting closer and closer to that maximum period of 30 users. Uh, what's really great about the fact that we can watch this in real time is what you could do, you know, th theoretically, is have this pulled up on one screen. Uh, you know, on the other screen, you could have the the health of your server um, pulled up, for example, to see how this affects the health of the server in real time, and we can get those actual uh, real time results which which is fantastic uh, so we'll just take a peek at this for a second here and uh, and we'll allow it to do its thing and and run through the test uh, don't worry I'm not going to make us sit here for the uh, the entire 14 minute duration of the test uh, I just thought it was important that we did take a, a quick peek at the um, real-time uh, results that we're getting from this test. So, like I said, we'll just take a peek at this for a second, uh, and then I'll uh, I'll come right back and uh, and we'll analyze the completed test in just a moment. All right, folks, welcome back. And as you can see, the test has finished um, successfully, and now we can take a look at the uh, the results and reports here. Um, first thing that I want to do is just kind of go line by line and, and show you what we have starting off here. Uh, the first thing that we have is this summary. This is where we're going to see a vast amount of the charts regarding the actual test itself and the results. The next one here, we'll see the session report. Uh, great thing about the session report is we can see every single session that was ran during this particular test. And we can take a look at the device info tab here as well. This just gives us an overview of the script that we ran, the dynamic variables, and then the profile details that we had regarding the particular delays. Okay, so we'll go back to the summary report here. And as we can see, the uh, the load duration was that 14 minutes and, and yeah, a few, few extra seconds to throttle down that we had there. We had a maximum of 30 users. Uh, and we finished with only three errors, which is pretty darn good. Um, another thing that we can see here is that we have this CSV raw data. And uh, what that is, is that's going to be every single instance, every single element, um, and every single little data point uh, that you can actually pull in that raw data yourself, massage it, put it in, a, in your own nice reports, um, and present them you know, to your shareholders or whoever need be. Uh, another thing you can do is, is download the report and just download this actual report here, as well as our session report that you can, uh, you can share internally as well. So now let's go ahead and take a look at all of these different results that we have here and the three different charts. So on this first chart, this is our execution plan. So uh, as you can see, yellow is our expected number of users. Green is our actual number of users. And it seemed to follow that plan exactly the way that we wanted it to. Uh, if you do notice some deviation here, uh, expect that you are, uh, you're going to have some failures and there's going to be some problems with the, the test and or the script itself. The next one here is going to be our average response time. Now, this is uh, incredibly important. Obviously, when we're doing load testing, uh, one of the biggest use cases for it is discovering our delta between 10 users and 100 users, for example. And if we see this average response time uh, start to go up dramatically, the more users we put on the site, easy to say that we'll probably end up needing some more resources on the server that's hosting your application to ensure that you can handle that amount of traffic on the website. The next one down here is going to be our total number of sessions started uh, throughout the duration of the test as well as it's going to show any error sessions that we have here and it does look like we had eh, about three error sessions at the end of the test here.
This next box here is going to show us the number of errors um, by error type. And so there was three of them there, and it looks like they were all runtime errors right at the end of the test. And the reason that we'll see those types of errors is going to be because we scheduled the test for 14 minutes. And so when we hit that 14 minute mark, any of the, uh, the sessions that are still running, that are still executing, uh, get cut off at that point there. So that's what we'll see with these three little guys here. The next thing that we're going to see here is the uh, percentage of CPU load uh, designated by the different load injector servers that we have here. Uh, great thing about this, once again, is we can do it regionally. So we can look at the East Coast versus the West Coast versus our Central. Uh, and if there's any, you know, big gaps or, or differences in the um, regions that our, our specific users are coming from. So now if we wanted to get a little bit deeper into this, there's a couple ways we can do that. We can either highlight any one of these plot points and click on where it says show details here, or we can go to the session report, find the session that we're looking for and click on details. We'll do it via summary here. So let's just find a, a random plot point here right at the six minute mark. Looks like at this point here, we had 30 users on the site. Uh, let's take a look at the details, and that's going to pull up our session report of that specific time frame here for just those instances. Um, now, from here on the session report, we can enter in more variables that we want to play. Uh, do we want to see only the successes, only the failures? Do we want to limit this to a specific zone? And from those zones, do we want to filter it out to a specific agent on that zone itself? Okay. And then from here, like I said, we can see all of these individual sessions that ran. If we have a session that maybe looks a little bit out of the norm here, um, unfortunately our site is, uh, or I guess fortunately, <laughs> our site is in pretty good shape, so we don't have to worry about that. But let's take a look at this one here because it's a little bit slower than the rest. And if we click on details here, this is going to bring up our detailed performance report. On this detailed performance report, we'll have five tabs. The first tab is going to show us a summary. Now this is the entire script itself. So the entire load time of the script was 43 seconds. And then we get a breakdown of where that time came from. Was it images, JavaScript, HTML, etc. Uh, and then we can go even deeper into the network timings of this. Okay, so those, you know, these are the elements that loaded slowly. And this is what happened, you know, in the network that created this slowness. Uh, whether it's you know connection time, uh, DNS time, first packet download, etc., we can see all that right here on the uh, on the chart itself. We can look over at the performance as well uh, to show us the 10% of our fastest elements, or more importantly, in my opinion, the 10% of our slowest elements. That way, if we are running into some latency, we can really kind of look into it. Um, and this really comes into play, you know, if we're having an issue in our delta. We have 100 users, um, you know, and at 10 users, you know, this JavaScript's working great. At 100, not so much. So we really want to investigate that and see what we can do to clean it up and make it operate better. And then we have our host and errors here on our host. We can actually see all of the different hosts that come into play and which elements are loaded by that particular host itself. And then most beneficially is the waterfall chart. Now this was a multi-step script, so we'll actually be able to see every step and every page and every single element on every single page on this particular chart as well. So if we scroll down here, we can see, you know, during that first page here, uh, all these different elements loaded. During the second step, when we logged in, these particular elements loaded uh, in the third step and so on and so forth. So we can really, really dig into it and get really granular into the data and into the reasons for any potential latency. Um, the great thing about you know all of these reports that we're seeing here, uh, like I said, are completely shareable, and uh, and you can completely take all of this information and very easily massage it or share it with uh, with other people in your team or shareholders that uh, that you may want to present this information to.
Another great thing to note here, uh, and this doesn't really regard the uh, the load testing itself, but you know, let's say for example, we created this uh, this particular script, we ran it on a load test, it's running okay. Um, one thing that we can do is we can actually take that same script, throw it into our user view monitoring uh, platform, and have it do an ongoing monitoring every 15 minutes or so to make sure that nothing changes, um, you know, regarding the the delta and the load times uh, between releases and then obviously uh, when it's time to come out with the new release or the next release of that application we'll want to run another load test here before we release it to the public to make sure that it's still up to par and meeting your guys's criteria and requirements now I know that was a lot of information to take in here uh, it was a very long couple videos so thank you guys so much for bearing with me uh, taking all that information in now obviously if you have any questions if anything comes up definitely make sure you reach out to your dot com monitor representative who will be able to walk you through all these steps uh, and really be able to give you any advice or clarification that you may need uh, regarding the uh, the load testing features Thank you so much and have a great one.